day. Here's a look at our clouds and radar right now. A clear sky overhead to start the day for much of the area uh, north of Dane County, really north of uh, Portage, Columbia County. We do have some cloud coverage early on in central northern Wisconsin. That lines up with where we're tracking a quick little cold front. In front of this front, our winds coming from the southwest, sitting at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. So there's that warmer air building in for this afternoon. Behind that front, it is going to get colder, so you can see that convergence later today. Our wind shifting direction, but that colder air mass not expected to really settle in until tomorrow. We're going to at least enjoy getting close to the 50s this afternoon before things cool back down. You can see that wind direction change in our future track coming from the southwest right now. Few clouds expected as that front passes, and then later this afternoon, we have our winds coming in from the northwest through the overnight hours. As that front does cross, it's going to get a little windy. We'll have wind gusts close to 30 miles per hour today. Wednesday also expecting things to be pretty breezy. Our winds coming from the northwest through Wednesday afternoon. Generally, wind speeds expected to be about 10 to 20 miles per hour tomorrow. Today, sunrise just after 7 o'clock, 701, so very close to that threshold. 50 the high, mostly sunny and windy. Winds from the northwest with gusts up to 30 possible. I do think some areas closer to the state line will get into the mid to low 50s, but areas north of Dane County might see highs landing in the upper 40s. Tomorrow, we're in the mid 30s, so a swing in the other direction. Still sunny, but it's going to be breezy and it's going to be cooler. And we're going to hold on to that cool trend through your extended forecast. We're in the 30s heading into the weekend. And here's that next weather system we're tracking. I do think we're going to get measurable snowfall Thursday night into Friday. It wraps up early Friday morning. Should have a, a little bit on the ground to, to get cleaned up early Friday. Beyond that, we get a break Friday night into Saturday, where we will have a slight chance for a few lingering flurries. And then Saturday night into Sunday and Monday, that system might get a little more messy because it is going to start off as snow on Saturday night with temperatures in the 20s. But notice those highs Sunday and Monday warming up and transitioning over to rain, especially on Monday with highs in the low 50s. So that's something we'll be tracking heading into the weekend to likely impact our roads of early next week.